This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. The dog guy is here. Here's some important information from the head of the Carbon County Animal Shelter next. Hola everyone and thank you so much for your time. I'm Ken Kerr and we're your trifecta of local information on the air, online and on the Samsung Productions app. Now let's get to your headlines from SSP TV and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. Four people were arraigned this morning following a high speed chase in Carbon County. State police are investigating the incident that began in Beaver Meadows and ended with one person shot. The shooting happened along Route 209 in Franklin Township. One person was taken to the hospital. No other details have been released. A free community Christmas dinner will be served in Hazleton. It will take place on Christmas Day from 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. at Holy Rosary Church. Today is the last day to call for deliveries. Call the United Way of Greater Hazleton at 570-455-9515, extension 207. So good news, I saw a dog today. Have you seen a dog? You probably have. There's your daily elf reference. Christmas is just days away and one animal shelter hopes that it's on your giving list this year. Lisa Sugart explains. In this hustle and bustle of buying gifts, I hope you're getting gifts for man's best friend. To find out what they need and how you can help, he calls himself the dog guy. But he's the mayor of Weatherly, Mayor Tom Connors. He's also the director of the Carbon County Animal Shelter, and he's our dear friend. First of all, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to you. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Thanks for having me. I love the sweater. Thank you. My <laughs> wife picked it out. I love it, too. I'm going to wear it every day. So now you're here to talk about how people, our viewers, can help because you need things for the animal shelter. Well, not just at Christmas time all year round, but right now they could really help out, help you guys out. Yeah, all year round we need supplies, just like all the other shelters, and uh, we're in a big need of canned food. We feed our dog canned food as well as dry. We have a lot of dogs down there. We're overloaded. And for years I had a nice supply where somebody was bringing in and donating a lot, a big amount of canned food and I would stockpile it and that unfortunately ran out. So if anybody has any connections, they know a company that might be able to help us out with dented cans or discount price, please get in touch with me at the Carbon County Animal Shelter. And you actually have a display outside your shelter that shows how many cans are needed. Yeah, it's a lot of cans of food we give them. I mean, we, we average 15 to 20 dogs in there on a given day and each dog eats two cans of food a day. So when you add it up by the month and then Add it up by the year, it gets crazy. And also, some of the dogs won't eat dry food, so that's why you need that too. Absolutely, absolutely. So, and then we tell people when they adopt a dog, you could wean them off the can, and most dogs will get accustomed to just eating the dry. But while they're in the shelter environment, I think canned food is important. All righty. So our viewers too could drop off a case of case Absolutely. or two of food that Anytime. would help you out and people could make a donation to the shelter like monetarily to help you guys out maybe as a Christmas present for somebody to make a donation in somebody's name or to help spay or neuter a pet. Absolutely we do have a great program to help spay and neuter our, our dogs and if people say they can't adopt a dog but they want to help in a special way they could reach out to us they make a, a monetary donation directly to our vet and that goes strictly for spay and neuter in our, our pups and to me it's the best gift you can give a dog if you have it it keeps them healthier they, they live three to five years longer all righty very good we hope you can help out and if you need to get in touch with them you can call the carbon county animal shelter at at 570-325-4828 we're at 63 broad street in nescahoney and we're on facebook so check us out all righty hope you can help out all the little doggies at the carbon county animal shelter thank you lisa in other news once i ate an entire grandma's pizza from booty's place true story how would you like to win a 15 dollar gift certificate to booty's place in the churchill mall call us now 570-459-9813 extension 108 leave your full name and phone number one lucky winner will be drawn at random and they will receive a 15 dollar gift certificate to booty's place quality homemade food made to order remember you can only win once every 30 days on ssp tv Time now for weather on SSP TV News. Here's your forecast from the National Weather Service. Tonight will be mostly clear. It'll be cold with a low of 28 degrees. Rain moves in on Thursday, 60% chance, mainly after 5 p.m. We'll have a high of 45 at night, 100% chance of rain. New rainfall amounts between 1 and 2 inches possible. Low of 39 degrees. It will also be very windy. 
Friday, windy again, rain and a possible thunderstorm high of 58 degrees, 90 percent chance of precipitation, down to a 60 percent chance of rain, maybe a snow shower at night, mostly cloudy, low of 35. Saturday is mostly cloudy with a high of 37, mostly cloudy at night, low of 26. Sunday, mostly sunny with a high of 34, and Sunday night, partly cloudy with a low of 26 degrees. It's been very busy at the TV studio at North Schuylkill High School with all the college signings and the Spartan News Network team helping me out with an out of left field segment. You can watch out for that segment. It will air on Monday at 8 p.m. on SSP TV and throughout December and January. Baseball is Mike Little's only sport. It's in the North Schuylkill seniors' blood. His grandfather, also named Mike Little, played professionally and was also an umpire. We were very close. He passed away in 2015. And uh, he kind of taught me everything about it because he knew pretty much everything about it. And he was a catcher also. So that's where I got a lot of my skills from, I guess I could say. Like Hitting, he always told me to chop wood <laughs> like an axe and come through with your bat. So I think about that when I'm hitting. Mike Little IV will be playing his college baseball at Misericordia University. He liked the school's smaller size and the fact that it was close to home. And here's what they liked about him. Definitely my bat speed and my hitting abilities, and my uh, ability to block a baseball. Little plans on studying nursing in college. Also signing his letter of intent recently at North Schuylkill High School was Jack Kempsey. The standout lineman will continue his football career at Lehigh University at the Division I level. Kempsey is featured on the Out of Left Field holiday special that hits the air on Christmas Eve at 8 p.m. Also watch at SSPTV.com and on the Samsung Productions app. Well, yesterday it was the Marion and Monoy boys taking center stage on the SSP TV standard speaker scoreboard. Now it's the Lady Bears and the Phillies. Some tough D led Monoy area to the Schuylkill League Division Three win. The Lady Bears opened up the game in the second half after leading only by five at the break. Marion recently got a non-league win over Wyoming Seminary with Macy Alansky scoring 14 points. The Tamaqua girls beat Pine Grove in a Schuylkill League Division One game. Tamaqua is 5-0. Same league, same division. Blue Mountain beat North Schuylkill. The Shenandoah Valley girls picked up a win over Columbia Montour Votech. Victoria Donovan had 28 points for the Lady Devils. The Tamaqua boys beat Pine Grove. Tamaqua shut out Schuylkill Haven in wrestling and lost to North Schuylkill in boys swimming. Also in the pool, Hazelton area swept Myers, Tommy Pollock, and Brandon DeGree. Rosa each won two events for the Cougars. Marina O'Hara won two events for the Lady Cougars. Up next, baking cookies for a good cause in Tamaqua and Broadway Joe comes to Broad Street in Hazelton. Our John Eric Poli reports from around the horn with Hazelton's own Joe Madden. Watch SSP TV in Scranton Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. until noon on Comcast Channel 190. SSP TV News would like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. Joan Biscupics of McAdoo. The Stanley Ian Lasky Funeral Home will announce their arrangements. Patricia Mary House Connect of Hazleton. The Hazel Chapel of the Crofton Hughes Funeral Home will announce their arrangements. Michael J. Muzzoline of Hazleton. Mass be Friday at 10 a.m. at Most Precious Blood Church. Friends may call Friday from 9 to 10 a.m. at the church. The Fero Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. Donna R. Saunders Schaefer of Freeland. Mass will be held Saturday at 10.30 a.m. at Immaculate Conception Parish at St. Anne's Church. Friends may call Saturday from 9.30 to 10.30 a.m. at the church. The McHugh Wilczek Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. And the Reverend Donald John Stump Sr. of Weatherly. A funeral service will be held Saturday at 11 a.m. at Salem United Church of Christ in Weatherly. Friends may call Friday from 4 to 7 p.m. at the church. The Philip J. Jeffries Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements.